Hi Aries, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm here to do your last half of October Terascope reading. So I have your meditated pre shovel here and crown your reading you have the world card. It looks like the world is your oyster. You have finally come full circle. Everything is aligned in your life. Your growth is taking off. Your life is transforming. You are at the peak of your personal growth. You could be starting. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. I just took a sip of something to drink before I got on the phone. But, or before I started the recording. But, um, it seems as though, wow, you're not putting as much effort into something that you once really loved. <clears throat> Somebody that you consider... A deep soul connection with the lovers here. It's like you're not making a decision. You're avoiding a decision. <clears throat> I don't know why, but as soon as I press record, my throat chakra starts bothering me. Maybe I need to put my aquamarine near me because for some odd reason. The queen of swords is here though, Aries. So you could be um, dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. But um, this queen seems to be extremely honest. And I say that because her sword is not only lifted, but it's like blinging. You know what I'm saying? So that's like truth. That's like clear thinking. Um, I definitely see clear cognizance here or just like crown chakra on fleek with all the purple in this card. Um, it's like behind her, it's like the road to heaven. You know, it's like she's guiding you. She's leading your way. She's the type that can transform your life, you know, with everything that she has to offer. And it's seeming as though while you're feeling negatively about this, not wanting to surrender, not wanting to fight or put as much effort into it. This person is wanting to at least call a truce, an apology, make up, start over, give a small emotional offer, but it's like they feel like they're alone with it. Like they're okay with their feelings. They have the full moon there. That's feminine energy. They're tapped into their feminine energy. They're tapped into their intuition. Um, the illuminating skies behind them, once again, this car sort of matches, you know, even though one is blonde, one is brunette, but it's like the colors are very similar here. Again, this is, this person is communicative. They think before they speak. They're in tune with their emotions and their feminine energy. They're like fully immersed in the water as well. So these, this person, this queen of swords, they don't mind speaking their truth at all. And it's like they'll lead you to the promised land with how honest and sure themselves they are. Wow. Double confirmation of soulmate energy here. But it's in reverse. What? Why is the disconnect here? It seems like the emotion is here. There's so many cards here in the spread with the full moon in it. But somebody refuses to see it. They rather... Hmm. Again, I have to find out whether these are ravens or crows. Girl, for real. Oh my God. I don't want to be a spoiled brat. But damn, water baby. Put up Aquarius. And she hate when people do that. But I'm just saying. <clears throat> she'll put up every freaking Zodiac. And then she'll do like a bunch of little tidbits in between. I'm like, do you hate Aquarius? What is going on? Oh, we be waiting for you. I be waiting patiently, but now I'm like, where is Aquarius reading, man? Anyway, Water Baby, don't kill me. I mean, like, don't nobody, like, tell her I said this or something, because I know she don't watch me. But, anyways, it's looking like somebody is choosing to stay blind, and it's like the light is right behind them. Man, the Queen of Cups is here. Somebody's in their emotions over this. Dang, so do you have two people to choose from, Aries? Are you acting oblivious to a strong-ass soulmate connection because you're afraid 
of the depressive state is going to put someone else in? Or is this your queen of swords and her feelings? They could have some type of water in their chart. Whatever the case is, this person brings a lot to the table. Like every single thing, every single thing that you were looking for in a person before you met them, it's in them. But yet you choose to remain blinded. You choose to remain blinded to the connection, which looks better to you. You see these beautiful light birds, they helping her pick fruit off the trees and put it in her basket, which is what she can bring to the table. It's a frutality, you know, abundance, light. Why you are immersed in the darkness, why you standing in the dark blinded when the light is right behind you. You have the ravens or the crows or whatever the case leading you when she has these beautiful tweet elite birds. Your bird squawk, hers tweet. So which one are you going to roll with, light or dark? I mean, we all need the light. We all need the, without darkness, there would be no light. We wouldn't know the difference, right? So we need it for balance. But are you, are you going to choose to remain blinded to what's right to behind you? All right, it's time to get into the premeditated shuffle. I mean, it's time to get into the main shuffle. I literally got two personals after this. Let me pull it together. Oh my gosh. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the last half of October. Aries, Aries, Aries. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the last half of October. Let's just flip these two and see what they have. Seven of Cups in reverse. Wow, Seven of Swords. Two sevens here. Jeez. If I get another seven, 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 seven. But man, somebody is like being disillusioned to something. Being disillusioned to some some foul play that was going on. <clears throat> Again, the dynamic of like super light and dark. One is like rainbows and so much color, and the other is like black and white. It's crazy. Maybe that's what you stuck between, Aries. It's like death. Trying to hide the fact that you know something is dead. Because I see him trying to hide this sword. It's like trying to bury evidence to the world. Like maybe you don't want the world to know that something is dead. So you want everybody to stay disillusioned to it, including yourself. So much so you might even start to believe your own lies. Maybe you think something too good to be true. Maybe it's that queen of swords that you deem too good to be true. Five of wands. Man, you don't want to fight no more. You don't want to fight. It's like you're trying to avoid drama. Maybe that's why you're lying. You're trying to avoid drama and betrayal. Mm -hmm. So instead... You just, hmm, you sleep with it, <clears throat> or you try to sleep with darkness just lingering over you, that dark cloud of inner knowing, very sun, moon, and rising for the last half of October, the hermit. It's like you already know. It's it's enlightenment had no longer confused, but not one to actually verbalize or admit it to the masses. 
So you cheat yourself with the justice in reverse. Why is that? Hmm. Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Yeah, stand in your truth, Aries. <clears throat> you got two paths to take. Are you going to stand in your truth, Aries, with the King of Swords here? Coming up as that match to that Queen of Swords that we saw in a meditated pre-shuffle? Are you ready to allow the light to shine on you? Dig that sword in the ground and say, I demand victory in this situation. I'm going to take the path that's going to lead me to victory. That's going to lead me out of the darkness into the light. So, you have to deliver that bad news to somebody. And maybe it's that Queen of Cups energy. That person that you was trying to avoid hurting. So that you can go and be with the one that's going to lead you into the light. All right, let's clarify. <clears throat> okay, spirit. Can we find out what the seven of cups is in reverse for Aries, sun, moon, and rising? Ooh. Seven of cups in reverse for Aries, sun, moon, and rising. Thief. Wow, okay. Thief in reverse. Hmm. Let's get some more information on the seven of cups in reverse. That's speaking to getting out of disillusionment. I definitely feel like you really stole somebody's time and emotions. Because I feel like somebody somebody here doesn't even know. Wealthy man. Wow. Hmm. Wealthy man in reverse. So maybe... Maybe the wealthy man became wealthy by doing something illegal at some time. Oh my gosh, until he went to jail. Yeah, and the Seven of Swords is here too, saying that. This seemed like a totally different storyline. Why is the Seven of Swords here? So, either somebody better stop stealing for their own material gain before they go to jail, or this is what has happened. Because that uh, wealthy man is in reverse. So it could be <clears throat> that he's... Gosh. All right. Why is the seven of swords here? The coffin in reverse. This is strange. Why is the seven of swords here, spirit? The privileged lady. Wow. So is the privileged lady actually stealing... From what used to be the married, I mean, the um, wealthy man. Because that imprisonment, sometimes I, I see that as somebody that is feel trapped. Like in a house, maybe a housewife and this privileged lady, is she stealing money from this wealthy or used to be wealthy man? Five of wands in reverse. Man, why is the five of wands in reverse? Man, somebody is in mental conflict about taking a new pathway, taking a new path, a path that's more meant for them. They're denying themselves. <clears throat> why is the ten of swords here in reverse? Message. Oh my gosh. All right, Aries. I don't know if it's you that's afraid to pass on this message. If you're avoiding hurting somebody by passing a message. This is getting weird. Wow. Why is the nine of swords here? Who's having sleepless nights? Ooh. Wow. 
occupation. Hmm. Shit. Are you worried about losing your job, Aries? What's going on? Why is the occupation in reverse here in the Nine of Swords? Unexpected income. Hmm. One more. What do you have going on, community? All right, so it's definitely a group of people involved. It's definitely a false person involved and unexpected income. Is that this stolen income? Or is this about a breakup, a breakup of a marriage or something where, hmm, I just want one more message for this nine of swords. Why is somebody sleepless over this unexpected income and false person? Aries, maybe you suspect somebody stealing from you. One more. Yeah, somebody getting wealthy off you. Yo, your wealth is declining. Concern. Wow, Aries. You concerned. You definitely have suspicions. This person putting your ass in a poorhouse too. Godly. All right. Well, beware, Aries. Let this be some kind of... Yeah, this is you. I think you finding something out though. Godly. This, I wasn't expecting this. All I can really say is maybe this is what you're worried about. You worried about going through a bad divorce. Wow. What did I say? Marriage in reverse. You worried about going through a bad divorce. Being robbed blind by the privileged lady because maybe you had a housewife that, you know, basically already swiped out all your finances exhausted your finances and they really gonna hit your ass where it hurt if you get a divorce with them and they could you could have children mature male and a child right here just came out together yes you're worried about the alimony the child support everything and the justice is coming out in reverse okay so you definitely feel like you gonna you it's not gonna go in your favor the King of Swords could be a judge as well. I was taking it as, um, I was taking it as, it's too much about legalities here. Shit. The lovers, sudden wealth, toil and labor, and change. So it looks like things gonna change for the better, okay? You might have to go through a rough separation, but with the 777 there, the good luck, sudden wealth, they might take you for something, but they're not going to take you for everything you worked for. You worked too hard. Things are going to change. They are going to improve. So even if you hit like a little temporary bump in a row and look what's at the bottom of the deck, great fortune. So in the end, this is going to end up being worth it moving away from this person. Even if they try to punish you for leaving by like getting you to try to pay high ass amounts of child support or high ass amounts of alimony, you still gonna end up with greater fortune. Why is the two of wands here, spirit? Let's see what path is gonna be taken. Mm-hmm. Main female, yeah. So you leaving behind that privileged lady for the one you really love. And that's the reason why that that is you, you choosing a path of true love instead of holding on to something just because that's what everybody expects you to do. So I definitely see, you know, even if you get judged by people, even if, you know, in court, things don't go in your favor. When it comes down to love and, like, you finally getting out of something that you was sitting up here pretending 
for for God knows how long, then you're going to feel greatly fortunate. Wow, look at this. Falling in love. You stepping into a, a real love situation, Aries. So surrender to it. I mean, don't be afraid. Take the good with the bad. In order for you to get something that's truly worth it, you might have to go through some bumps in the road. But would you rather sit and settle for the mediocre as to, as opposed to moving forward and moving forward into into pure bliss? Let me get some advice oracles for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the last two weeks of October. Wow, okay, that's enough. Oh, okay. Okay, so sisterhood is here. Definitely allow the people around you to kind of help you, guide you through, navigate you through this time. If you're a guy that's making this decision or choosing a path, um definitely seek bros like seek your bros because this situation that you're getting into it's a true love situation i knew this car was gonna come out and the song of sirens is somebody that you're gonna end up being with for a very long time this is the person of your dreams and you probably have very vivid dreams about them as well so, one thing I'm seeing is that this is going to be a process to get to this point, Aries. So, don't think it's going to happen overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day. But I'm definitely going to get some affirmations for you guys because I see y'all like slick going through it though. Oh, shit. All right. One came out. Let's get one more. One more spirit. Affirmations for Aries. Sun, moon, and rising. All right, bet same color i love how that happens and this each these it, there is different color cards in here but it just so happens that this is the same color okay i deserve joy and i rejoice in my employment so remember what i said toil and labor is gonna lead you to sudden wealth and great fortune so everything is all good i appreciate the opportunity to help contribute to or serve others. I connect with the creativity of the universe and I allow it to flow through me in fulfilling ways. I deserve to be prosperous and you will be Aries. I deserve love and I deserve joy. Okay, did that not make sense with the main spread? All right guys, well, if you guys haven't already, please go ahead and join the Soul Tribe, like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Hit that bell and I will check you guys out on the next video. Ciao.